what's up programmers welcome back so today in this java tutorial we'll be looking at operators specifically arithmetic operators basically in java there are many types of operators we look at each operator in a separate video now we'll just go into some introduction to the operators now operators are basically classified into three parts that is unary your binary and ternary now uh, unary basically acts on a single variable binary acts on two variables and ternary is a conditional statement now let's uh, look specifically on the binary part because we'll be uh, discussing arithmetic operators in this case like in arithmetic operators you got all the minus plus multiplication division and mod uh, we'll talk about the mod in detail later it is basically a remainder operator now you must have seen this subtraction addition multiplication and division okay now these are your basic math operators okay and then you got the relational operators where you have the greater than the less than or uh, the less than equal to greater than equal to or all those stuff which are used for your comparison between any two variables now then you got the logical operators so basically if you had uh, something like your logic subject or you had studied about uh, booleans in your previous course or uh, have some basic knowledge about it then you must be knowing what is the and operator and or operator we'll discuss about them uh, in detail later then you got the bitwise operators now bitwise operators uh, basically act on your variable bit by bit and now uh, what it does we'll have a separate video for that and then you got the assignment operator now we have used assignment operators uh, in our previous lecture where we used assignment to assign your variable certain value okay and there are also uh, different types of assignment operator which we'll get into later and then you got your ternary and also the unary which will be a separate video uh, altogether okay so now let's jump into the code where i'll show you how to use this arithmetic operators to do your specific task that you want to do okay so basically i've just created a uh, class in our eclipse to do that if you don't remember just right click on your default package okay go to new go to class and then you can give it a name which i have given as arithmetic operator and just click on finish and you'll get something like this on your screen okay so now let's start with using arithmetic operators so for that i'll declare first few integers say int a which is equal to 5 and b which is equal to say 27 okay so now uh, i have these two integers now i'll perform some operation on this okay now to perform uh, after performing this operation i need to store them in a separate variable so for that i'll declare a new variable c okay uh, which i'll use to store results now the f uh, first thing that we'll do we'll try addition okay so now to perform addition what we do is we do just write uh, your uh, a plus b okay and where we want to store it we want to store it in c right so we'll just write c equal to a plus b okay now the result is getting stored inside your c variable now let's print it if we write uh, print statement uh, we'll write c equal to and then we'll just put c over here okay so this is for the addition so what will basically happen here is your c will be assigned to your 5 plus 27 okay now this will be calculated and stored inside your c now let's perform subtraction so say suppose i want to subtract a and b so a minus b and i'll store this inside what c so c is equal to a minus b so what is happening here is c is e nothing but equal to your 5 minus 27 okay now this answer will be in negative uh, so we'll just put a print statement after this to see what the result we get okay let's do the same for your multiplication so c is equal to your cross b okay now see the symbol for multiplication now this is a star okay so uh, you don't write an x uh, like what you write in math but you use the star okay so if you don't know where it is on the keyboard then it is basically above your numpad on the right side or you can use shift and the number 8 key on top of your uh, qwerty keyboard okay there you will find this star okay and we'll just print it okay so now what is happening over here multiplication is basically c is getting assigned to nothing but 5 your cross 27 
ओके नाउ लेट्स डू द सेम फॉर डिविजन सो फॉर डिविजन सी इज इक्वल टू वील डिवाइड द बिगर नंबर बाय द स्मॉलर नंबर इन दिस केस सो वील डू बी डिवाइडेड बाय टू सॉरी बी डिवाइडेड बाय ए आई एम सॉरी ओके सो नाउ इन दिस केस द डिविजन दैट वी यूज टू राइट यूज विद द डिविजन सिम्बॉल इज बेसिकली रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय अ स्लैश इन जावा ओके सो नाउ आफ्टर वी डन दिस वील जस्ट प्रिंट इट ओके सो नाउ वी हैव परफॉर्म्ड सम बेसिक arithmetic operations now just uh, now we look on each of the output that we get so let's right click and run this okay uh, so if you see this what is happening is first when you add your uh, 5 plus 7 you get 32 that is the basic addition okay now subtraction also you get what you desired Okay, now when you look at multiplication, it is five into twenty-seven. So five into twenty-seven is nothing but one thirty-five, right? And then you got your C. Okay, now what have we tried to do here? We have tried to put twenty-seven divided by five. Okay, so this was what we expected. Okay, so if I just uh, quickly remove the calculator, okay, and I just do say twenty-seven uh, divided by five. Okay, so what is the result? It's 5.4 but here it is giving 5 now what's the logic behind the division okay now the here the logic is that your java performs integer division in this case now why it has performed integer division is because you got two integers that you are dividing okay so in this case both of our variables are integers right so what happens is that an integer divided by an integer the answer is an integer okay so even if the answer was something like 5.9 Okay, still it would be rounded to five. Okay, so it only takes the integer part of your division. Okay, now we have done with our basic math operators. Okay, now let's look at the mod operator. Now the mod operator or the remainder operator. So what in this case we'll do? We'll do c equal to b mod a. Now what I'm doing is I'm telling it find what remains when I try to divide twenty-seven by five. Okay, so something like I say, c is equal to remainder of twenty-seven divided by five. Okay, so we'll just print this value, and I'll explain you in a greater detail. Okay, so if we run this, okay, the answer is two. Now why two? Now look over here. Uh, what we did is it. told to find the remainder so what it basically found out over here is that when you try to divide 27 by 5 what happens is 5 into 5 okay so 5 into 5 you get 25 okay and when you subtract 25 from 27 you get 2 as remainder right so 27 cannot be fully divided by 5 so whatever remains as a remainder is what we get at the output suppose we had some uh, some power operation in which the uh, it perfectly divides say suppose we do 10 modulus or 10 remainder remainder 5 okay so now in this case our 5 totally divides this 10 okay so what will happen in this case the remainder is zero so what uh, uh, so the output will also be zero so let's just run this and i'll show you the output is zero okay so as you can see uh, the output over here is zero okay so the remainder operator is basically used multiple times in the program to check if a number is perfectly divisible by another number or not okay so this is basic use of the modulus operator okay so now if, uh, i'll go into few details about these operations what happens when you have different data types performing when you have different data types on which these operations are performed so now now we have studied various data types okay so one was byte white another was short and the other was long okay these these used to store all types of integers okay based on their range okay so say suppose now we have two variables for byte say your b1 which is equal to say 5 and you got your b2 okay uh, the same case with short will have s1 as say Twenty and uh, say S two. Okay, and we'll also have a long uh, say L one, which is equal to say one with five zeros, and we got L two. 
now let us perform operation on these data types and i'll tell you some uh the places where java uh, differs than what you would expect normally so uh, say suppose i am doing an operation on byte b1 say i s do something like b2 equal to b1 plus b1 okay <coughs> Now what happens over here? It, it it pops with an error. Okay, it tells you that uh, cannot convert from int int to byte. Now, but we are adding here two bytes, right? B is also B one is also a byte and B one is also a byte. Okay, so basically what is happening over here? We are adding five plus five. Okay, but in this case, what is happening? In the addition of two bytes, it is telling us that it is of the type integer and cannot convert to type byte. Okay, so why is this happening? Is uh, in Java, this uh, what happens during your calculation of arithmetic operators is that your integer data types, okay, with your byte, short, or int, are basically converted into ints. They are promoted to integers, right? Your byte is basically one bytes. Uh, I should write byte, okay, and then you got your short, which is two bytes, and then you got your long, which is eight bytes. Okay, so what happens is that this this B one will be converted to type integer. Okay, so integer takes four bytes, right? So what happens? This is like B one is an integer, B uh, and this B one also is an integer. So what happens is addition of two integers results in an int data type or integer data type. That is, this both will be converted into ints and then added. Now what happens is the result of these two ints will be an int. So Here we have put as it as a byte, right? So we cannot do that. Okay, so that's why Java is telling you uh, that uh, you are making a mistake, and this byte cannot, uh, this integer cannot be converted to byte because uh, your integer is four bytes and your byte is a single byte. Okay, so what is the roundabout we can do is you can do something like this int t, okay, and we'll do your t equal to b. Sorry, I uh, will remove the one equal to. Okay, so this is what there will be no errors. Okay, so this will basically result in your t having value ten. Okay, now the same happens with short. So I'll just quickly show you. So say suppose we have s two which is equal to s one plus s one. Okay, now what happens is you got the same error. Okay, you cannot convert short because this short s one. And S two uh, S one here, both of these S ones are converted to type int. Okay, and byte uh, and uh, S two is of type short, so short has two bytes, whereas our answer is in four bytes. So it cannot be converted back because you could potentially lose some uh, values out of it. So it it uh, the compiler throws an error. So we just change it to T again, and we are off with it. Okay, now uh, let's look at long. So basically, for long, there's a takes place. Differently, so we'll do L two equal to L one plus L one. Okay, now as you can see, it it did not give any error. Now why is this case? Uh, this is because what happens is your L one or uh, and your L two both are eight bytes. Okay, so they are not depromoted. What do I mean by depromoted? You got eight bytes and int is four bytes. So you Uh, the compiler does not convert the eight byte long to four byte int. Why? Because you could potentially lose certain values. Right, so that's why what happens is in this case the compiler keeps it as it is. Okay, so this is eight byte plus eight byte. That is two longs are getting added, and it is stored inside a long. Okay, so now that we have looked at integer data types, now let's look at our floating point data types. Now there are uh, two floating points that we have studied data types, uh, which are your float. So I'll just name this as f one equal to say three point one four. One four and uh, I'll put an F two over here, okay. And I also put a double, okay. Now, uh, do you remember in the last lecture when I told you uh, you cannot directly write down three point one four like this, right? You need to put an F. Now F is basically tells your compiler that this three point one four is float. If I don't put an F, what happens is this is considered to be a double value, and you are trying to store it in a float. Which is basically you are losing certain values. So compiler does not allow this. It will show you an error, and you just put an F before it so that the compiler understand. Now let's declare a double. Okay, double D1, which I'll put 3.1415. Now double has a greater precision, if you remember, and we'll have a D2. Okay. So now what will happen if I try to do something like this? I want you to, you guys, to guess 
okay or at least tell me f1 you can put it in the comment section f1 okay now in this case there is no error okay what you would have thought is basically this compiler is always trying to put everything in double right because if you put any uh, number with a floating point is considered to be double but here it is consider it is showing no error and you are getting this done using float only so what happens is your compiler for the float data type does not perform any promotion or depromotion so it does not get promoted to your double data type it remains as it is this is for the float and for double as expected as it is the uh, biggest data type of your floating point number so if you even if you write d1 plus uh, d1 this will not show you an error so that's it for this tutorial i hope you have understood arithmetic operators uh, quite well okay if you have any doubts put it in the comment section below and any suggestions comments are always welcome uh, put whatever you want to put in the comment section and we'll try to improve we'll try to help you with all the stuff that you have okay uh, and these tutorials will be coming weekly from now on uh, so most probably we'll have a day which is decided to be dedicated to java on that day we'll put all the java tutorials week by week so you can just come along on that day of the week and you will get your java tutorials okay so if you want any other additions to it or any other stuff that you want uh, to supplement to this uh, content please let us know uh, do subscribe to our channel like our video and you can follow us on your twitter or facebook uh, okay you can find the link to our facebook and twitter in the description below that's it we'll see you next time have a good day